All right, what's up, guys? This is Tom Taylor with South China Morning Post, SCMP Martial Arts, live in location in Singapore for one championship, 163, and one on Prime Video 4. I got the man beside me, Kevin Bellingon, the former bantamweight champion. You all know him well. Kevin, uh, welcome to Singapore. How's it going? Yeah, feels good again to be here in Singapore, and yeah, I'm ready for this uh, upcoming fight, November 19th. Yeah, you spent a lot of time here over the years. I mean, Singapore must feel like a second home for you at this point, right? Yeah, sure, sure. Because uh, we've been here many times, so it's good. It's mm -hmm. good to be here. Good, good. Um, well, I want to talk a bit about your headspace right now. Obviously, you haven't gotten the results you wanted in the last few fights. I mean, what, what's the headspace like heading into this one? Are you feeling any extra pressure? Uh, there's, yeah, there's always a pressure, but uh, I'm motivated and I'm desperate to win this fight. I am 100% ready for this fight, so... Everything is ready. I'm ready for war. Mm -hmm. So everything's good. Awesome. Well, let's talk about Kim Jae Wung, your opponent. He's a tough guy. We've seen a lot of him in one championship. Certainly a lot of tape to study. Uh, what do you think of this guy? Kim Jae Wung is a tough uh, guy in the featherweight, but now it's going to bantamweight. So I will welcome him. To, I will welcome him in the bantamweight division. So I respect him uh, very much, but uh, I'm desperate to win. So I'll do my best to win this fight. Mm -hmm. You mentioned that he's coming down a weight class. That's obviously one of the big stories heading into this one. Uh, now, I don't want to be uh, a pessimist or anything like that, but we have seen some fighters struggle to make weight in one championship yeah, yeah. recently. Is there any concern for you that he may have some trouble getting to your weight class? I think so, yeah. Because uh, he came from a featherweight. Uh, he came from featherweight, so I think he's going to cut a big, uh, big weight. So I think that's a big factor for him, and that's good for me. Mm -hmm. So you think potentially that the, the drop down to bantamweight could affect his performance on the night? Yeah, sure, sure. I think so. And then just in terms of, of his style, you know, you've watched presumably all of his fights in one. What do you think of this guy's style? What are his best weapons? He's good in boxing. So that's one thing that I'm going to watch out. So I'm ready for it and I'll go strike with him. Okay. And, uh, you know, we've seen him get knocked out a little bit recently. We know you're a great striker. You've got big power. The knockout is something you're presumably going to be looking for on the night. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking for a knockout and submission win for this uh, match. So I'll wait for the opportunity. If there's opportunity, I'll grab it. Okay. And then uh, just in terms of uh, back to your headspace, how good is it going to feel to, to get back in the win column after some tough results recently? Yeah, I need to break the curse, you know. Mm -hmm. I need to win this fight and uh, go back to the winning column. So I'll do my best to win this uh, match. And yeah, I'm excited for it. Mm -hmm. uh, now, Nick and I just spoke to, to Steven, your, your training partner. Uh, we know you guys like to roll as a team. You're, yeah. you're never in small groups. I mean, it must be nice, you know, gearing up for this big, important fight to have so many of your, of your guys here with you, right? Yeah, we help each other in the gym. We roll, we train. And yeah, we, uh, I, I share some uh, tips to Stephen because I fought uh, Bibiano four times. So uh, I share some uh, tips. To Stephen and it's good, it's good, it's good training with Stephen and the other uh, other teammates. Mm -hmm. um, you mentioned you have some history with Bibi. I would say that uh, you're more of an expert at fighting Bibiana Fernandez than mm -hmm. anybody else in the history of humanity. You fought him more than anyone else. Yeah, yeah. Uh, of course, you don't want to give too much away in terms of, of Stephen's strategy. But but what kind of wisdom were you able to share with him ahead of that fight? Well, uh, the style of uh, you know we we all know the style of Bibiano is going to strike and shoot. That's the one we. Uh, been uh, training with Stephen, so and how he will uh, going to counter that uh, attempt. Mm -hmm. And Bibi is of course getting a little bit older. He's in his forties yeah. now. We saw him suffer a pretty tough loss in his last fight. Um, as a guy who spent so much time in the circle with him, what do you think the future holds for him? Is he still as dangerous as ever, or perhaps maybe uh, you know falling off a little bit? Yeah, Bibiano is still uh, tough, but you know age is uh, as time uh, goes by. Yeah, of course he's. Uh, level is uh, going down also but uh, still tough still he's still a tough uh, tough fighter so uh, Stephen should always be careful and uh, I need to execute the game plan in order, in order for him to win mm -hmm. uh, now back to you obviously the bantamweight division is very crowded right now there's a lot of very good fighters in the weight class um, but if, if things go your way this weekend where do you think you're going to land in the weight class anybody in particular you'd like to fight next well, uh, if I'm going to win this match, uh, I'll just wait for one championship to uh, give me uh, anyone. Uh, I want to fight anyone in the rankings, except my teammate, uh, except my teammate Stephen. Yeah. No. <laughs> of course, of course. Uh, so, yeah, for me, my goal is to win this fight first and just win, win, win. And maybe in the future, I'll uh, have to fight in a title. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. So my goal is to just win, 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 win. But still focused on the belt, that's still the yeah, goal? Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's my goal. Okay. That's my goal. Great, great. Well, I hate to recycle Nick's questions, but he asked uh, Stephen about the big show coming up in the Philippines. Obviously, you're excited to be back in Singapore, yeah, but yeah. the trade-off is that you don't get to be on that card. Uh, any disappointment at all that you don't get to be part of that? Yeah, I was actually expecting that I'm going to fight in uh, Manila on December, but uh, they gave me November 19. So I'm still happy. I'm still happy because my teammates are uh, fighting there. Most most of my teammates are fighting in the Philippines on December uh, 3. So I am happy for them. I'm happy for my team and I'm excited. Mm, I'm very excited too. Obviously, uh, your teammate Joshua Passio is fighting in the yeah. main event. Um, prediction for that fight? Yeah, prediction for that fight against uh, between uh, Joshua and Jared, Jared Brooks. Yeah. Uh, maybe Joshua will uh, knock Jared Brooks. Very exciting. Uh, presumably, you know, if uh, at the end of the night, Team Lakai will have a lot of reasons to celebrate after that show. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Because uh, I believe my uh, my uh, teammates uh, prepared well, so it would be a good night on December three. So we'll ce celebrate with the team and the whole. Uh, Fans. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Well, let's uh, let's wrap it up with this. Kim Jae Woong dropping down to, to bantamweight, as we said. What kind of welcome can this guy expect to this division from you? Well, it's going to be hard for him, so expect a war. So I'll do my best for fight in order for in order for me to win this match. So welcome to bantamweight, Kim Jae Woong. And any message for your your many fans in the Philippines before I let you go? Uh, to the to all my fans, all our fans, uh, thank you for the endless uh, support. Uh, keep supporting us and yeah, support us on our, uh, on our upcoming fight on November 19. And ingat and God bless. See you.